this announcement, Beyond Identity, free to companies, uh, I, I know that you've gone the sort of uh, free to try route before. I'm thinking of Netscape here. What's the business model? Well, the business model is that um, everyone needs this. Everyone wants to get rid of passwords. And we have lots of other offerings that are revenue genera generating. So we thought making this free would just get rid of all of the friction for adoption. That's the primary reason. Now, tell me about where we are in the stage of the Internet, because you were a key player in probably the most important event of its consumerization, the, the popularization of the web browser with Netscape. Now we find ourselves, we're just hearing about this fraud that's happening in uh, the, the system. There have been all of these attacks, solar winds recently. It's hard to ferret out what the truth is online, harder than ever. Where are we and what's needed? Well, we've gone largely uh, all the way, but you know, this password thing has really been a, a pain for everyone. Um, there's not a person in the world who wouldn't like to get rid of all their passwords. So uh, that's, that's the mission we set out to do. We basically took the technology that was invented at Netscape and made it available for consumers. You know, it's been there for websites forever. That's what that little lock means up in the uh, 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 HTTPS web address. Right. And um, so we just, just decided to make it uh, available for ordinary consumers and figured out a way to do it. Now, Tom, you are the CEO of Beyond Identity, and you and Jim have been partners in business for a long time now. There's got to be a challenge here. Even though passwords, you know, everybody kind of hates them, we're kind of used to them. So it's going to be quite a leap for, for people, for businesses, to give up passwords and let by, Beyond Identity in. What's your uh, strategy for enabling that? Yeah, 35 years we've been uh, together working on this. And obviously, uh, this problem of passwords has been together that long, has been around that long since the beginning of the internet. I liken it, if I can do a, a simple comparison with COVID, you know, passwords are a virus. Uh, it's how you spread that from company to company. Solar winds happen because somebody took a password from one site, used it to break into another site, gain access, went right past MFA technology, checked in malware, and then that went back out, out the other way. If you had a technology to eliminate the passwords from the beginning, you wouldn't have had that surface attack area uh, from the start. And so all of these other technologies, you know, password managers and MFA technologies, they only exist because the initial problem exists, the password. If you don't have a password, you don't need all those other layers of user friction and complexity. And that's why we set out to say, you know, websites don't talk with passwords to each other. Let's just go back and use that technology, extend it out. It's a known technology, extend it out to end users and make them passwordless as well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.